Music and sound effects play an important role when you edit your video. Today I will share some of my techniques that I use when I edit my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first one is adjusting your music track duration. Sometimes you may feel the music track is not long enough for your video. Yes, definitely you can increase the duration of your music using the remix tool. But do you know you can trim the part that you like of that music and then if you stretch it, it will have only that portion repeating throughout the track. And another feature most of the people doesn't know about which is instead of stretching up the music track, you can actually use the remix tool to stretch down your music. The obvious one is you should use appropriate music and sound effect depending on the mood or vibe that you are going with. The same video can convey different message just because of the music track. Let me show you an example. As you have experienced, the first one had a suspense and thriller mode. As soon as I change the track, suddenly the tone of that video have changed. Now it feels like a more inviting and hopeful romantic scene, isn't it? But the problem is, it is very hard to get the perfect music for a video. Even if you get your music, there are a lot of problems with the licensing and copyright issue. I have been using Artlist for 2 years to source quality music for my videos. I would like to thank Artlist for sponsoring this portion of this video. Their library of high quality music, sound effects and templates have helped me a lot over the time. Artlist has a huge library of quality music. The musics are very organized. You can search your preferred music by mood, video theme, genre or instrument. Suppose you like a track. Now you want more of this similar track just to get some options. To get it, just click on the similar song icon. Recently they have added AI voiceover generator and that sounds very natural. Their subscription plan is very flexible. If you need music, sound effect, footage, image or templates, I will highly recommend their Artlist Max subscription. By the way, if you buy the annual plan, you will get 2 extra months for free. Check the first link in the description for more details. Sometimes I use background music along with the narration to create a mood. But when you use music directly with a video, it will sound very sharp. Yes, you can decrease the volume a bit, but it will not work. What I usually do, I use a low pass filter with the background music. It cut down some of the high frequencies and as you can hear, it is not interfering with the narration. Transitioning from the title to this narration, I believe you have heard the drop of the music's sharpness. That can be easily achievable. Just make a cut where the narration begins. Use a low pass filter on the music beneath the narration. Now right click in between the music and apply the default transition. In the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro, you can just click and drag the handle to make a smooth transition. Not only the music, sound effects also plays an important role in the video. Often we make mistakes by placing the sound effect directly on the timeline. The sharp transition, whoosh, 
pop or impact sound effects are sometimes very distracting. You can follow different techniques to make the sound effects sound smooth. Go to the essential sound panel and tag your sound effect as SFX. Now increase the reverb amount a little bit. If that still sound harsh then of course you can turn down the volume slider a little bit. Sometimes this method doesn't work well for some sound effect. In that kind of scenario you can just apply a low pass filter on top of it. Now the last one which is suppose you need to use a pop sound effect five times in a row on your timeline. If you use the same pop sound every single time it will sound so repetitive. Rather you can go to the effects panel and search for pitch shifter effect. Go to the effects control panel and adjust the semitones of pitch shifter and the result is you can hear the difference right. So that is all for today I hope you have get some idea if you are using music and sound effects for your video editing how you can manipulate some of the settings and how you can make it a little bit better so if you have liked this video or if you want more of this kind of video you can comment me in the comment section below and if you want to try art list you can check the first link in the description i'll catch you guys on the next video until then goodbye